we are up with James Mackay today at TBF Thompson's in Garva. You're not based here, as you nope. say, you're based in the car. I am indeed, yeah. yeah that's it. So, what's happening here today? Um, James is here to pick up his new toy, the uh, 130 LCN. James was telling me, and this, oh, this is a bit of a, maybe a long story, but he's run two zero tail swing diggers now along with another Hitachi. He had an Hitachi zero tail swing, he moved off, he tried a competitor's brand there for the last while. He's doing a lot of third service work and he just felt it wasn't working for him. He seems to have gone back to Old Faithful. Is there a, is there a genuine reason for that? Or? Um, I think just what he was doing, as you say, with the third service work, he found heat to be an issue. And with the cooling pack on this and uh, your bottles up on the top behind the cab, that helps to keep everything cool. And What sort of work is James doing that has got such a demand on oil flow? A lot of mulching this time of year, particularly. Um, and I think him and a lot of people now are buying excavators and they do more than just dig. They do, they do multitude of tasks from lifting, laying, mulching, cutting, and, and especially as I say, this time of year. He was always really originally an Atachi man. He stuck with Atachi. Tell us about this digger. Where is it in the range of Atachi diggers? Hey, that would be, this here in the 135 with the two most popular, that sort of weight class. You still find a lot of men will still go for the 130. Yes, there's a big trend for the for the reduced tail for all sorts of work, building road works and one thing and another. But 130 is bread and butter in this in the north of Ireland anyway, if you ask me. Where are we at now in, in, in forms of model? It's a dash. Dash six. And how long is the dash six hasn't been? Dash that? six came out tail end of 16, start of 17. Um, so she's obviously odd blue like everything else now in this day and age. Is it a fair comment to say that the Dash 5, 130 Dash 5 digger would be regarded by many, many men as one of the best diggers, not just ever made by Hitachi, but in general? And that the Dash 6 has a lot to live up to? Yeah, that's fair to say. Is that, 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 that's, that's a fair that's, comment. That's How fair comment. has it been going so far with the Dash 6? Is it living up? Good. Dash 5? I've had no complaints and, you know, People are coming back to me and saying, digger's quick. They're saying performance is good, fuel performance is good. Um, lifting capability is better than what it was in the Dash 5 because of the hydraulic system. Yes. Um, that's a big thing. And uh, no, things going good. Now, I know James and uh, his worker be very fussy. They like um, speed, speed, and more speed. <laughs> Can that be tweaked and set up for them for driver preference with regards to moving the dipper arms and yeah, we cycle can times? Pretty much set anything up the way the man wants it. Um, and with other attachments and one thing and another, you can store so many items into the system and just touch them a button away you go. So James is this kitted out with rotation on it. There's another new toy laying down in the shed that he's gonna have a bit of crack with. And uh, you know, it's gonna cut a lot, which is why did he tell you how There's he plenty of lights on it. Did he tell you how he practically stole that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. There's a lot of lights on here that I want to know who he's paying for to start off with. <laughs> Put it to you this way: there was more lights on it than we talked about. <laughs> well, what engine? What what sort of gear is uh, makes up an Atachi? Uh, um, I use your engine four cylinder, 105 horsepower, pumps 117 liters a minute. Um, you know. We'll play about with that for what he's doing here and and um, give him everything that he needs, fingers crossed. And I see there's a bit of a, you know, we're a, a strong LED lighting pack on or by the looks of things. Well, have plenty of lights on it, a lot of lights on it. We've also a, we have a screen going on as well, um, which is basically, a for the want of a better way, I'm putting it a bulletproof mm -hmm. screen, which he can take on, take off, do what he wants with, um, won't cloud or go milky. So, you know, it's a bit nicer than looking through rows of bars. An LCN, what does that stand for? Basically long carriage. So you have long undercarriage on the digger. Are there many sold without it in today's world? No, not it's what, what people want. Basically, anything we bring in here now in that size of machine, long carriage, long dipper, booming arm check valves, three cameras all the way around. 
um, air con, heated air seat, anything that anybody wants. You know, Com when you important. when you cut to the chase, you're really it's the small bits and pieces that the man wants after that, you know what I mean? And well, look, Ian, thanks for taking a wee minute. I say, James, basically, he said he wanted to get a run out in the 8.20 fin. We've been raving about it, and his brother had it away a day, and we had the Macaulay dump, or Macaulay low loader still there, so we, we told him, he said about lifting this here, so we sort of said, take our tractor and trailer, go lift it, and we'll come and have a wee chat with you about uh, the digger that he's got. So, like, We'll probably follow it a bit with him. We'll we'll <laughs> we'll soon see if it's living up to everything you said it's going to live up to. Well, <laughs> but, you know what I mean. No, but as I say, thanks very much for your time. Thank and you. We'll, we'll let you get it uh, loaded here, and the last couple of wee things that you have to check over before it goes on the trailer. So, thank you. No bother. Thanking you.